I'm 21 years old and my parents are divorced. My dad cheated on my mom when I was 10 and left up to marry his coworker, Kay. In the weeks following the incident, my pregnant mother ended up miscarrying from all the stress. Kay married my dad and gave birth to my half-sister, S. I remember I always hated going to my dad's place. I remember being miserable whenever I was around them. I never had a bond with S and never considered her to be my sister. Anyways, I visited my dad until I was 15 and then moved to another country with my mom where she met P. P was an amazing guy who made my mother smile again. They ended up getting married and my mom gave birth to my twin brothers. When I moved to a new country, I cut off all contact with my dad. I was supposed to visit them every Christmas, but after my brothers were born, I felt like I finally had a real family and I chose to spend my holidays with my mom, P, and little brothers. Well, last year, S was diagnosed with advanced leukemia. I did feel sorry for her, but I was not in any way affected by the news. She finally passed away on the morning of my 21st birthday. Call me heartless, but for me, it was like some neighborhood kid getting sick. I felt guilty about my feelings because I'm very protective towards my brothers and the mere thought of any harm coming to them makes me anxious. Now for my 21st, I had a big party planned. I went through with the party and had a great time. I was careful about not posting pics on social media, but a friend ended up posting the pics on her Facebook. She tagged me in the pictures and my dad's family ended up coming across them. I was clearly having a great time in the pics with no hint of sadness. Well, Kay saw red. She made a Facebook post bashing me for celebrating my sister's death and being inconsiderate of my devastated father's feeling. She also wished death upon me. I finally had enough and proceeded to make a lengthy Facebook post detailing all the hurtful things they did to hurt me and my mother. I stated that my father was dead to me and that I wanted nothing to do with that family anymore. Lastly, I added that although it was sad that S was dead, I never considered her my sister and wasn't really affected by her death and that they had no right to come at me for living my life and celebrating my birthday. I ended up blocking all of them. Today, my mom told me I was insensitive and that I shouldn't have made the post disowning my dad and dead half-sister. I feel like I did the right thing. I'm happy being 100% no contact and don't feel any guilt for celebrating my birthday or for the post. I was tired of their shit. So, am I the idiot? Am I wrong for walking out of the baby shower my in-laws threw for me? The situation is kind of a mess. I, 27 female, and expecting my first baby with my husband. This is the first grandchild in the family, and they said that if the baby is a boy, then we'll give him my father-in-law's name. He's dead due to cancer, and I had no problem with that. This happened before we found out the gender of the baby. My husband and his family had me do things like attend prayers and do other rituals before the reveal at the doctor's. I didn't like that, but went with it to keep the peace. Ah, they thought if they do some hubba they can decide the baby's gender. Doctor appointment came and it turned out to be a girl. My husband cried in the car, then turned his phone off to hide from his family, then finally told them. If my husband cried tears of sadness that we were having a girl, not a boy, I would be livid. Continue. His mom and the others made their frustration and disappointment clear, which bothered me because my daughter deserved to be celebrated. They ghosted me for days, then started coming over and visiting constantly, referring to my daughter as my son, claiming the results were false and basically pretending it's a boy. I had several fights with them and after they refused to stop, my husband sided with them despite seeing how wrong and unreasonable what they were doing was. We didn't speak for a while. Sister-in-law called to apologize, then informed me she arranged for a baby shower for me. I was so excited and happy, but when I arrived, I saw blue balloons, blue cake, and father-in-law's name slash decorations around. I was so confused, I had to sit down. My sister-in-law explained that they were still hoping that my gender results are false and it's a boy. I looked at my husband and he agreed with her. I lost my temper and yelled at them all, calling them delusional and telling them to stop treating my daughter like she's unwanted and act like she doesn't exist by throwing a party for their imaginary grandson. Mother-in-law broke down crying. I took my bag and walked out immediately. They started yelling and my husband followed me outside and started arguing about how I insulted his family and his dad's memory by acting like that. He said they needed time to process the fact that it's a girl, not a boy, as they expected and insisted I play along and they'll soon get over it. I told him to wake up and see the insanity to his family's behavior. I said absolutely not and demanded he take me home. He said no, so I called an Uber and left. He was fuming. He called 15 times, then texted that he won't be coming home until I get my ass over and apologize for ruining everything they've done for me and accusing them of being mentally unstable. I haven't responded yet, but he's constantly pressuring me to get right with his family before we even talk about anything else. Oh my god! How many red flags do you need to see before you can run away? Oh my god, he's crazy. And another thing. The woman doesn't determine the gender of the baby, it's the man. Like, and as a pregnant woman, I would be pissed. My fist would be rolling. Oh my god. That would just make me cry. 
Am I the asshole for wearing white at my blind cousin's wedding? I'd like to start by saying that me and my cousin, who was blind from birth, aren't very close, but we get along well as relatives. She sent me an invitation, though we don't talk as much, but since I wanted to take a break from work, I decided to go. My favorite color is white. I love wearing white because it brings out my skin glow and makes me feel comfortable and confident. I purchased a maxi white dress, nothing fancy, but goes well with my skin tone, and wore it to the wedding. There wasn't a big party with many guests, but sort of family dinner and small celebration. I really thought no one would even notice I was wearing white. My cousin and her husband obviously didn't know because no one told them. But my aunt kept giving me uncomfortable looks the entire evening, and so did my other cousin. Once I decided to leave, my aunt pulled me aside and berated me for wearing this color at her daughter's wedding. She said that just because her daughter is blind doesn't mean she's stupid and doesn't know what's going on around her, basically saying I brought negative energy and disturbed the celebration by having guests notice and by extension my cousins as well. She gave a lengthy lecture and asked if I hate to see her daughter happy and whether I pulled the stump because my blind cousin got married before me. I was like, whoa, calm down, none of this was true. And married before me? I never thought of that. I just wore my favorite color and didn't do it because my cousin is blind and wouldn't notice. I argued with my aunt for trying to dictate what I wear, but she defended herself saying I was a guest and should have respected the bride. I left feeling very upset and exhausted from that encounter. My boyfriend said he believed I used the fact that my cousin is blind to wear white, but this didn't fly with her family. He pulled the I told you so line and said I just made my family hate me with that stunt. Even though he knows I always wear white, but he warned me that if my cousin finds out, there's going to be some issues. He suggested I get ready to apologize, but I really see no reason to apologize since I chose to wear a comfortable color that I feel confident in. So, am I the asshole for wearing white to her wedding? Am I wrong for refusing to walk my daughter down the aisle? My daughter, 26 female, and I haven't spoken in years. When she was 15, we found out that she wasn't my biological daughter and my wife had cheated on me years ago with a friend. As it turns out, the so-called friend was suddenly interested in playing dad. My wife and I divorced, my daughter learned the truth, and I told her I still loved her no matter what. Of course, she was interested now in getting to know her biological father, and while it hurt, I tried to accept that. She started pulling away from me after that. Even when trying to still do things together as a family, she was no longer interested. The last straw was when she was 20 and living at my house. We were arguing because she had dropped from her college courses, hasn't done anything for three months, and was mad because I told her she either needed to go to school or work if she wants to stay here for free. She told me I'm just, oh, I can't even read it, so, so mean. She told me I'm not her real dad, so stop pretending like I am, and she'll just go to stay with her real father. Ugh. Ugh. That broke me, honestly. But I told her if that's how she really feels, then there's really nothing left to say between us. And she did move out to go live with him. I was depressed for a very long time, and I drank a lot. My son, 24 male, was my only reason to keep moving forward. For the first couple of years, I reached out to my daughter. She wanted no contact, and I learned to accept that and moved on. It helped me find more peace in my life. My son stopped talking to her for a while over this and was angry with her. They still chat sometimes, which doesn't bother me at all. Through him, I learned her biological father died in October 2019. She reached out to me first, saying she knows that we haven't talked in a while, but wants to ask me if I'd be willing to walk her down the aisle. After a pretty long message about how much she hurt me in the past with her actions, I told her no. She didn't want me to be her father anymore, so I learned to no longer view her as my daughter. This turned into a fight between us because according to her, it's not her fault she wanted to know her real dad. And I agreed with her it's not, but what was her fault was how she treated me ever since. In my mind, I know if he hadn't passed, we wouldn't even be speaking right now. It ended with telling her I hope she enjoys her wedding, but I want no part of her life. My son told me she's ranting to my family that I'm ruining her date and she thought parents are supposed to love their kids unconditionally. Oh, what a gaslighting bitch. Fuck her. Oh, I can't be swearing so much. Sorry. My brother seems to think that now I am being an asshole and that this is my chance to be in her life again, but I have no interest in that. Still seems that everyone has a strong opinion on it and that I'm making it difficult for my daughter to have the wedding she wants when it would mean a lot to her. My son is on my side, but the comments are still wearing me down and just for the sake of my sanity, am I being an asshole? Am I the asshole for making my brother leave after he brought his kids to my child-free wedding? My wife and I got married days ago. We decided the wedding will be child-free. We thought this was the best option considering several factors from budget to keeping the order, etc. Everyone got an invitation, but my biggest concern was how my brother Ramsey, 36, was going to react. Ramsey married young and has four kids that he takes everywhere he and his wife goes. They're always there at every family event. The kids are grade A hyperactive to say the least. I gave Ramsey the invitation in person and he read it out loud in a sarcastic tone and then said, child free, huh? I nodded and he got someone mad saying, are you serious? But my children have never been excluded from any big or small event, let alone their own uncle's wedding. I said, sorry, but it's already been decided and everyone had to follow the rules, not just him. He started off for a minute and then to my surprise, he said, I totally get it, man. No children means no children. No worries. I was glad he didn't start an argument over it and seemed to accept the rule. The day of the wedding came and Ramsey and his wife didn't show up until shortly before the ceremony began. 
My best man noticed that Ramsey had arrived and had all his kids with him. I was legit mad and I went to meet him at the entrance and saw he brought all his kids against me and my wife's wishes. I greeted the kids and asked my sister-in-law to take them back to the car. He loudly asked what the F was wrong with me. I asked why he brought his kids and who said it was okay. He said no one, but he was planning on bringing the kids all along and figured that by initially agreeing to my rule, then showing up with the kids anyway would get me to agree on letting them stay. I stated this was no event for kids for many reasons and that everyone respected the rule except him. He complained about me disrespecting him and his kids since, again, he never attends any event without them. In his words, wherever I go, my kids follow, period. I told him he needed to leave then. Not only did he call me a lunatic but a terrible brother and terrible uncle. He also called me a simp for agreeing to his wife's stupid rule saying that if it was him and his wife even hinted he couldn't have his family's kids at their wedding he would have dropped her right there and then. It was humiliating and loud enough for the guests to notice. My in-laws did too. I told him to leave and that's when my mom and aunt tried to convince me to let it go and let them stay but I refused and had him leave after a massive argument between us. To say that I felt absolutely shitty is an understatement. Everyone gave me grief ever since that incident and are siding with Ramsey saying I wronged him and acted cold towards him and his kids when they showed up to celebrate me and my wife. My dad is especially pissed at me for potentially permanently effing up my relationship with Ramsey, his wife and kids by kicking them out of my wedding. He quoted Ramsey won't ever forget this day. So am I the asshole? Am I wrong for telling my entire family that my cousin's child-free wedding isn't 100% child-free and refusing to attend? I need some insight to see if I'm in the wrong because I really don't feel like I am. I, 32 female, just received an invite to my cousin Alex's 30 female wedding. It stated on the invite that the wedding was child-free. I'm not new to child-free weddings, but what has me frustrated is the fact that there will be children in the wedding. Alex plans on having her and her fiancé's 33 male nieces and nephews at their wedding. I overheard her asking her sister if her niece could be the flower girl at a family get-together. This confused me because child-free means no children, so I called Alex and asked. I told her and said that if her nieces and nephews are going, then my daughter, five, similar in age to her nieces and nephews, should be allowed to go too. Alex said that only those in the bridal party are the exception and that she wants her nieces and nephews at the wedding. When I asked why they could come and not my daughter, she said it's because she knows her nieces and nephews are well behaved so there will be no issues. She also knows her sister and my brother-in-law parent very well and to top it off, she is a teacher who wants a day where she doesn't have to deal with children of others. She also said she is closer to them. I told her that her reasoning was ridiculous because child-free means no kids, including her nieces and nephews. Alex told me I was more than welcome to decline the invite, so I did. I ended up venting to my mother, who was married to Alex's dad's brother, and while she didn't agree with Alex, she said she could understand her feelings. However, my dad didn't like it and called her dad. My uncle Mitch asking why my daughter could not come. Mitch told my dad that it is Alex's wedding and she can do as she pleases. He also said cousins are not the same as nieces and nephews, especially since they're in the bridal party. My dad said since Mitch is paying for it that he should talk to Alex into allowing children. But he declined and said that he and my aunt don't believe paying for the wedding gives them a say and even if it did, he agrees with Alex. This upset my dad so then he told other family members. Now, several members are upset that Alex and her future husband nieces and nephews will be there but no one else is allowed to bring their children. We have a large family and we all watch each other's children so finding childcare will be difficult. Most of the family says it's Alex's wedding and her reason makes sense but I and some of my cousins are refusing to attend. Alex doesn't seem to care one way or another. One cousin told Alex she was bringing her child anyway to which Alex said make sure you wear sneakers so it's easier on your feet as you're escorted back to your car. Which is how we found out she's having the security guard from her school checking the guest list and that he knows to not let any children in so am i the asshole um hundred thousand ten percent you are the asshole i'm very passionate on this topic let me tell you guys why because as someone who does have nieces and nephews it's my wedding which means it's my rules i don't want your child there they cannot come simple as that you do not get to rebuttal will you say no child shut the fuck up okay literally if my nephews and nieces will be there if i liked you and your kid, I would invite you. But if I say no children, you do not get to pitter-patter. 